I want to move on to something we talk a lot on the show about uh, domestic violence. In this next viral video, a hidden camera experiment in the UK revealed some shocking reactions to domestic violence on the street. What? To f up. Come here, Get your hand off me. Come here. Get your hand off me. Who was there? Get your hand off me. Who was there? Tell me who was there. People, People are looking at us. People, 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 People are looking at us. Get your hand off me. Stop that. Stop that. Stop So we showed you that because people were actually laughing when the girl was hitting the guy, yet people were willing to intervene when the woman was the victim. 40% uh, of domestic violence victims are men. And I think this, this highlights something we often don't think about, which is domestic violence can affect anyone. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think what's interesting about this social experiment is you can almost be tempted to fall into the line of thinking when you watch the woman attacking the man. Well, what are the chances that she could really hurt him? That is not the point. The point is not physical size, physical strength, the fact that it's probably more likely for a man physically to overpower or injure a woman. The point is abuse and violence. And it can be physical, it could be emotional, it could be psychological, it could be financial, and it does not discriminate. As you said, it, it affects men also. And I think, you know, you mentioned as we were watching it, it's always the women who stick up for the woman. Mm -hmm. But who stuck up for that guy? No one. Nobody. Well, and I, th I think it gets back to something we talked about on the show. You know, we've come a, a long way in even just the last year with all the awareness that was raised on these really highly publicized cases of domestic violence. But I think there, there's always been a bit of a tendency to say, well, it's, it's got to be her fault if, if the woman is the victim. And I, now I think you see the laughing there. It's, well, I'm sure he deserved it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I yeah. think that's the danger with domestic violence is if we don't get to a point, to a point where, look, if you're being abused, no matter who you are, sure. just to be like, oh, I'm sure they deserved it. That, that's where I think the laughing comes from. But at the end of the day, we have to understand that any type of violent motion or movement to another person, that's you right. know, it is terrible. And it's against the law. And it's considered abuse. And if anyone you know is suffering from this type of thing, you, you really should do your part in trying to intervene. The one thing about that video that I took away is early intervention. If, if you yes. do see something like this occurring, the earlier you intervene, before it gets to true violence where maybe there's weapons involved, you know, and that's you intervene and you do what that woman said, which is, I'm going to call the cops. And, and that will diffuse the situation really, really quickly mm -hmm. in many cases. Now, uh, if you are watching and you are someone in your life is the victim of domestic violence, there is a lot of help available. You can find resources and information at When Georgia Smiled, the Robin McGraw Revelation Foundation at WhenGeorgiaSmiled.org.